what you read from chapter 20, very beautiful. We agreed because the Quran condemns alcohol in any form. Right. But when the same author in chapter 31, verses 6 and 7, he says, give strong drink, hard liquor to him that is perishing. Those words, do they un mean anything to you at all? Do they convey any sense to you at all? Not if you read them out of context. On August 8, 1988, a day after the famous debate between Sheikh Ahmed Didat and Dr. Anis Shorosh at the NEC Arena in Birmingham, Sheikh Ahmed Didat held a further lecture which entitled, Sequel to Quran or the Bible, which is God's Word. And during the session of question and answer, a Christian questioner protested and accusing that Sheikh Didat had quoted the Bible out of context regarding the story in the Bible about giving strong drink or wine for a dying person. particular that you quoted from was, I believe you said it was Proverbs 21, 6 and 7, but uh, you quoted about giving strong drinks uh, to unwind to men that are dying. In fact, the, the, the passage of scripture that referred to drinks as such is Proverbs 20. However, I'm a bit disappointed that you yourself did not quote verses one possibly through to seven, rather than just six and seven. I'd like to put something straight by reading it, this, that, this passage to the audience. Would you permit me? Is it mistranslation? Ah, the same Bible. You've got a copy of it there. I have the Bible given to me by Shorosh. Well, it's not a copy. Right? Open it and you read it, six and seven. What does it say in your Bible? Read it, read it a little slow. Read it a little slow. Six and seven, so that I can grasp. I know what verse six, six and seven said. I said, a man of your power, I think, would have been permitted to allow the people to have a balance idea of what the scripture said rather than a perverted one. I can't hear. I can't understand. What is... uh, shall I read this? To yes, the what, what we suggest is that you read yes, those verses in your verses. But please do it, do so slowly and clearly. And Thank you. It said, chapter 20, verses 1, and I'll read right through to 7. Uh, why are you reading chapter 20 when I quoted you third, what was that? What you quoted is not written in I said chapter 31, verses 6. It's not written in chapter What is there? It's written in chapter 20, verses But why 20? I quoted you 31. chapter 20 very well and fitting yes. beautiful 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 you're talking to an audience of people here 
And I'm listening to you now. I'm listening to you now. I listen to you, now you listen to me. Right. What you read from chapter 20, very beautiful. We agreed because the Quran condemns alcohol in any form. Right. But when the same author in chapter 31, verses 6 and 7, he says, give strong drink, hard liquor to him that is perishing. Those words, do they un mean anything to you at all? Do they convey any sense to you at all? Not if you read them out of context. Not if you read them out of context. It has no meaning in that sense, if you read them out of context. One must have a balanced view of whatever one does. You know, you eat food, you don't eat all of the same food, do you? Do you? I, 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 can't, I, I can't follow what the brother is talking about. Are you saying, are you saying, sir, that Mr. Didat's reference to the section relating to alcohol was quoted out of context? Is that what you're saying? Said he gives a one-sided view of what the scripture is. Do you want him now to explain why it was contextual and not out of context? Well, is is that your question? Now, I'm just taking up on the point that he has spoken, right? What I want the, this audience to know that there's a balance view to the scriptures. And yes, but we are not interested in statements. We have invited people to engage in a debate with Mr. Dilan. And you could very well have done so. But you're now asking a question. It is therefore his right to address your question. Uh, Mr. Dilan, the reference which you made to alcohol, the questioner says that it was quoted out of context. The context. Let him read the context. Why read chapter 20 when the chapter is 31? The context, the context is the text that goes with it, before or after. I'm sure you understand simple English. The context is the text that goes with it, not chapter 20, not chapter 1, not book of Genesis. The context. Verse 5, verse 4, verse 3, verse 2, verse 1. Read it in the context. Okay. Verse 4 on through to 6, chapter 31. It is not for kings, O Lamuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink. Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert judgment, or pervert judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be heavy of heart. And forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. <laughs> right, right, you have done it. You have done it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's telling you that the words of King Lemuel, the utterance which his mother taught him, what, my son, and what, son of my womb, and what, son of my vows, do not give strength to women, nor your ways to that which destroys kings. It is not for kings. It is not for kings, the rulers. O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine. But the kings must be sober. The kings, the rulers, they must remain sober. The white man in Africa, he must remain sober. The American in America, in Canada, in Australia, the, uh, the, the, the Australian rulers of Australia, they must remain sober. Listen, it is not for kings, means rulers, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for prince intoxicating drinks, lest they drink and forget the law. Lest they drink, they are to rule. They mustn't drink. Very good. Good advice. Now, now, verse 6, and give strong drink to him who is perishing. Look, you rulers, you mustn't drink. You're going to rule. How are you going to rule if you are drunk? You mustn't drink, but now you give to those who are perishing, give them. Look, this is in the context. I'm reading in the context. Give strong drink to him who is perishing, and wine to those who are bitter of heart. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. That is what they're doing in, in South Africa, the black man, in, in Canada, the Red Indian, in America, the Red Indian, the Aborigines of Australia, in, in India. This is what is happening.